Okay, this will be quick. Now that we've created all our dowels and aligned them at the skull, we're going to use those to create holes in our skull cap and our skull base, and then keep one dowel for printing. So this is step six, merge dowels with skull. If you're following along in the tutorial, if you're accessing the files at neurorad.link slash skull files, you'll see there's a step six merge dowels with skull folder. You're going to work from the 01 to do merge dowels mesh mixer file. I'm going to work from this completed file and then when I'm done you're going to have access to the completed version of the file as well. So I'm going to double click on this, open up the file, and this is where we left off. So we still have the skull base that we're hiding, we have our skull cap, and then we have a bunch of dowels. We have anterior, posterior, right, and left dowels, and then we have copies of each one of those, and you'll see why in just a second. And then we also have a dowel for printing. Just a quick note here, too, you're, you're going to notice, you know, we have a lot of redundancy here. We have a lot of steps. I basically copy, copy over my completed file from step five and create a to-do file for step six. And part of that is for the purposes of having a tutorial, but it's also just a good idea to save a lot of copies when you're working in Mesh Mixer. A lot of CAD programs have the ability to step back, <coughs> step back in time very easily. Once you've merged objects, you can then separate them in the future. Um, things seem to be a little more permanent with Mesh Mixer. Once you've merged two objects, it's kind of hard to undo that. So it's good to keep previous versions of your file um, because you might want to go back and reuse your dowel for another purpose in the future. So anyway, um, so you should have the to-do merge dowels.mix file open and we're going to start creating holes in our model. So we have our skull cap and our anterior dowel. I want you to hold down control and select both of those in the object browser. And when you do, you're going to see under the edit menu, you now have some different options. And one of those is Boolean union, Boolean difference, and Boolean intersection. And these are fairly self-explanatory. A Boolean union would combine those two. Um, and a Boolean difference is going to subtract the two. Now, sometimes it can be a little hard to tell what's being subtracted from what. So you can just click Boolean difference and it's going to show you what's happening. So it just so happens that I selected skull cap first and anterior second, and that's what I want. It's actually subtracting uh, the dowel from the skull cap. It's not deleting the whole skull cap. If your whole skull cap's gone, you probably selected them in the wrong order. Go ahead and cancel and reselect, and then select difference again. So there's one thing I want to note here. There's this option to auto reduce result, and I've found that it kind of tends to. Uh, warp the edges a little bit and you know we're not that concerned about the, the triangle count inside of this little cylinder so I always uncheck that so it, it looks as good as possible and then just click accept and then basically we're just gonna do that for the other cylinders so I'm gonna subtract the posterior cylinder from the skull cap select both of them boolean difference we have a hole there uncheck auto reduce result and accept that Again, select skull cap and right, Boolean difference, uncheck auto reduce result, accept that. And skull cap and left, Boolean difference, accept. All right, now we have holes in our skull cap. So the next step is to create holes in our skull base. So let's go ahead and hide the skull cap and show the skull base and all the dowels we have associated with it. Now we still have this transparent shader on the skull base. We can just drag an opaque shader onto it so that we can see it well. Okay, so we're going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to select my skull base first and my anterior dowel. Do a Boolean difference. Don't do an auto reduce. And that looks good to me. Accept that. Select the skull base and the posterior. A Boolean difference. Here's our hole again. I'm not going to auto reduce it. I'm going to accept it. Skull base and right. Boolean difference. Accept. Skull base and left. Boolean difference. 
I'm realizing as I do this that right and left are probably backwards uh, by the patient, but I wouldn't worry about it. Just keep things straight in your own head and you'll be fine. So these, these look great. They're not really poking through the model anywhere either, which is good. And we now have holes in our skull base and our skull cap. And we have a spare dowel to print out to join the two together. So the last step, we'll be exporting that as an STL. And uh, that'll be in the next video.